Hi! In this video I want to show you how to knit this baby hat. Uh, for the written recipe with stitch numbers and all other information go to my uh, website. You will find link to that um, in the top right corner. Um, I have used a merino yarn that will give 21 stitches for every 10 centimeters when using needle size 4 millimeters. I have used needle size 3.5 millimeters for this project. I will show you from start to finish how to make this hat with the exception of the cast on. I have another video for that and you will find the link to that as well in the top right corner. So now I have finished my cast on and um, if you prefer using circular needle uh, just do that. Uh, the double pointed needles uh, they are just a personal preference for me. That's the only reason I use them. So now I will begin to knit and I will begin here at the back of the hat and my pattern is I have a seed stitch here, four stitches of seed stitch and I have two knit stitches. So that repeats throughout the row. So I begin in the middle of this section of seed stitch so and um, the seed stitch pattern it's uh, every other stitch with knit and purl. So I will begin with one knit stitch and I'll just this is the first this is my slip knot from my cast on and I will knit that when I knit I stick my needle through from left to right here I move to the tip of my index finger and I go behind the yarn to pick it up I bring the yarn through my stitch here and I slip it off the needle and when I purl I begin at the tip of my index finger I go behind the yarn and move up through my stitch like this and I go back where I came from behind the yarn and then I bring the yarn through the stitch like this and slip it off the needle. So that's my half section of seed stitch. Now I have my two knit stitches. One, two, and now I have four stitches of seed stitch and then I knit and purl knit purl and then I have my two knit stitches and seed stitch knit purl knit purl and so it goes on throughout the row and I finish here with the last two stitches of the seed stitch section that I begun with here. So I will continue to knit and finish this first row and then I will get back to you on how I complete the pattern in the second row. Now I have finished my first row 
and now I begin my second row and I have my half second half section of seed stitch here and when you knit seed stitch you knit and purl every other time both this way and this way so here I have a knit stitch then I will purl here's a purl stitch so I am going to knit that one here are my two knit stitches I will continue to knit those in each row but in my seed stitch sections I do knit and purl every other time both horizontally and vertically so purl knit stitch knit the purl stitch purl the knit stitch and so on and I will continue to do this uh, uh, and go round and round until I have the length that I want for my hat and then I will get back to you on how to decrease to make the top now the hat has the required length and here you can see how the seed stitch look with knit purl knit purl every other stitch both horizontally and vertically and um, now I will begin to decrease and when I do I begin by just knitting the pattern I continue the pattern all the time but each time I have one stitch left of my seed stitch section before this band here of two knit stitches when one stitch of the seed stitch section remains I knit this one together with the first stitch here like this and I go from left to make the knit stitch go on top so I continue the pattern and here I have one left before the two knit stitches so I knit those two together like this and I continue to do this throughout the row and when I have finished my first row of decreases I will knit four more rows before I do my second row of decrease and when I do I do it the exact same way I, uh, I continue my pattern but I will take the last stitch from the seed stitch section and knit it together with the first stitch here of the knit stitch section and um, uh, at the beginning here I, after a while I will have to transfer the stitches from my last needle and to here to be able to knit them together with this one so I will continue until I have uh, only these sections of knit stitches left uh, follow the pattern on my website uh, to see how many uh, rows between each decrease and uh, I will get back to you with how to do the rest of the decreasing when there are only these knit stitch sections left So now I have finished all my decreases so I have no seed stitches 
seat stitching left I'm left with only the bands here with two and two knit stitches and for my last decrease I will knit those together as well so I will knit two and two stitches together like this and I'll continue to do so throughout the entire row and when I'm finished I will get back to you with the next step now I have finished my last decrease and I am left with only a few stitches on my needles. I have cut my yarn and to finish and close the top of the hat I will continue to knit each stitch but when I slip it off the needle I just continue to pull the yarn end through the stitch and then I knit the next stitch and I pull my yarn end through and I continue until I have done the same thing on all stitches then I will bring my yarn end through this hole to the wrong side and I will pull the yarn end slightly to close the hole here on the top and when I have done that I will get back to you on how I knit the ear flaps and um, the lace now I have finished the top of the hat and it looks like this and I'm ready to make the ear flaps. I begin by counting from the middle of the back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 stitches. So I begin from here and pick up the number of stitches I want for my ear flap and the, the stitches uh, from these bands of knit stitches I just pick up the one that goes across like this uh, here you have to you have to um, try a bit more there are several ways you can pick up these stitches I like to go uh, take where this part goes through the next stitch I like to pick up um, the yarn where it comes out on the other side but it's not it can be a bit tricky and you just have to try and see when you get hold of the yarn try just to see if there you it make any gaps it don't it's nice and even and then there is the next one so it's it's uh, this piece after it has gone through this one here I try not to catch a lot of other stitches on my way so there and when I pull it I don't get any big holes so I'm satisfied with that and I just continue like this until I have picked up the amount of stitches that I want for my ear flap and when I've done so, I will get back to you 
on how I knit the actual ear flap. So now I um, finished picking up my stitches. Then I will get my yarn and I will begin to just knit all my stitches and from now on I will do knit stitches only and now now I am facing the right side of the hat and each time I do I will do knit stitches Soon now I will reach the end of my needle and there is my last stitch. Then I will turn so I face the wrong side and when I face the wrong side I will get the yarn towards me here. And I will place the yarn like this between the first and the second stitch so that when I slip the first stitch the yarn will go between. And then I will purl my way back when I face the wrong side here. And um, I will do this for a few rows and I will get back to you when it is time to begin my decreases. I will turn again and just tighten it a bit here. And here you can see when I am on the right side, I have the yarn away from me already. So I can just slip the first stitch and continue to knit. So now I have knitted the first part of the ear flap and I have begun to decrease. Here you can see my first decrease and I'll show you how I do it. Uh, each time I'm facing the right side here and I am about to make one needle of knit stitches. I slip the first stitch the next two stitches I knit together then I continue to knit the needle until three stitches remains like this then I go from the other side and I knit the two first stitches together like this and then I knit the last stitch. Then I turn and I purl back. So no decreases on the purl side but I decrease each side each time I am on the knit side. And I will continue until I have only two stitches remaining on my needle.
and when I have the two stitches remaining I will get back to you on how to do the tie lace. The last decrease you cannot slip the first stitch and knit the last one you just have four stitches and you knit two and two together. Now I have finished my decreases and I have begun to knit the tie lace and when I do I simply knit the two stitches that I have remaining on my needles and when I have done so I just move move my needle like this and I knit them again like this move the needle and I knit them again and so I continue well a bit fast I continue until I think my tie lace is long enough and then I finish it the same way as I did on the other on the top of the hat by cutting the yarn and just pulling the yarn end through both stitches and when I'm finished I just make another ear flap the same way like this. Thank you for watching.